Happy Choo Choo Tuesday, fish keepers. Pretty busy day today. I believe that the plant orders are coming in, which means I've got to pack some orders. And right behind me in that little corner there, water changes have a tidy up through there as well are happening, as well as down in that corner there. If I get my mug out of the way, we're going to get the snails rocking and rolling as well. So, bit on the cards today. Better hurry up and get it done. It's just gone 7 o'clock. Got to jump on the social media machine, check the emails, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully I'm out here by 8, 8.30, something like that. Getting my hands wet, getting out here, doing it. Come along for the ride. Quarter past eight, and I'm out of the dungeon. Did I ask my office a dungeon? Anyway, tracking well with time. Uh, just realised that this needs to be done first. The windows need to stop crying. Uh, my vacuum -y. Get that done, and they're into the water changes out the back. Time-wise, going really well so far today. Comments, questions, emails, replied to, meme posted on Facebook and the Insta Hizzle. Going well so far. Just walked past these sods, and they abused me by splashing water at me. Not okay. It's not okay. If anyone's after some really cool fish that are really personable, and they're not a-holes, and they're really polite. I've got some, if you're local in Nelson. A pair of Jags and a big Oscar and a big old catfish back down there. They're pretty cool, they don't make any mess. They're really friendly and lovely. Don't put small children's fingers anywhere near them. Okay, but here's the thing. They might be dicks, but they're really fun to feed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it every time. Bloody monsters. It's a fun time. I understand why people like big fish, just not always for me. I'll stick to my front hoses. Awesome. And they're like totally contrasting, these guys are all just quiet and peaceful and ready to go, so... See? Just so graceful and peaceful with their feeding, unlike those big brutes. NGL! I love Frontoza. And finally the Cynodontists come out. After trying to get a good video of them last week. They're like, no, not coming to the party. They come to the party today. God, they're gorgeous. It's beautiful fish. I love Frontoza and I'm proud of it. Ah, irony. I'm wearing my sick of life Frontoza top today. Anyway, I left mucking around. It's about five minutes behind time again, so let's get some work done. Might try and hook these little sods out while I'm here as well. The Julie Corys that managed to get their way in with the starlights. You mean to be up there, buddy? Not down here. There's at least one fry in here as well. Part way through water changes through this corner. Three done. Uh, we'll get these done. Won't take very long, so fairly small. This beef will take a bit of time, but I can just leave the hose in and drain it. Uh, and then we'll look at moving this stuff through here. And over there. Two of the three plant orders have arrived now. Um, so as soon as I start draining this tank, I'll start packing orders, the ones that I can, obviously with one missing, I'm not going to get them all done, but we'll get what we can done, and then we'll be able to wiggle things around through here, so progressing nicely for the morning, I believe. Sun's out, guns out, or in this case, lights are on, sparkly aquariums, beautiful looking fish. Yeah, I just made a wicked good rhyme. Filtration totally did its job last night. Nice and clean and clear water portraying some absolutely beautiful fish. I like these guys. I really like animals. Freaking love them. Really cool fish when they get a bit bigger. Or the Amapa tetra down here. Stupidly excited about them in here. Yeah. Hopefully I get a chance. I remember this morning. I'll clean off the fronts of the tanks because they're a bit grubby. But everything else is uh, spuckle spuckle.
Even the mess I made in here. Looks a lot better now. How yeah, good. That'll mean that these well and truly overdue for a clean as we can see. Might be on tomorrow's agenda, probably don't have time today, but we'll see how we go. Although I haven't lost it yet today, I definitely found it. There's my tape measure. Stop looking. Everybody remember, I stuck it right beside the quarries and the empty failed spawning tank. Right there. Don't forget when I need it later, it's right there. Water goes in, water goes out, that's what the fish room's all about. Do you like my totally original song? I totally did not plagiarise that directly from The Simpsons. Not at all. Alright, all water out. Water beginning to get out. We'll start packing up some orders. Once that's done, I'll be able to refill them all. Looking like we might be getting close to time for a clean out of the FX6 on the loach tank. It's been pretty heavy with fish over the last little while, so I'm not surprised. And it won't be today. I'll try and get it done sometime this week. And I'll get the uh, FX on the front hoser tank done at the same time. Might as well kill two stones with one bird. After closer inspection, this is not my box of plants. This is for animates. Looks like my normal box. It's from my normal supplier. Obviously Mr. Courier got the wrong address. So hopefully they've got mine and I can uh, pack some orders. Otherwise, this one's going to take a little bit longer than normal. Alright, all orders packed that can be packed. Uh, I got through as much as I can with the plants that arrived uh, after the mishap that happened with animates. Uh, it is what it is. We can't control other people. Things happen. We'll just have to uh, add an extra day to the delivery time, unfortunately. So plants and snails and other bits and pieces ready to rock and roll for Mr. Curry to come pick up. Three poly boxes waiting to be filled up with fish to be picked up today as well. So that's orders under control all done. I'll do them a little bit later, it's about 1.30 now. So I'll probably crack into them around about 3 o'clock-ish. Less time in the bag, less time in the box. Better for the fish as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's get on to refilling these tanks. Finished packing up orders, all done and dusted. Uh, we had a little bit of a bums rush in the shop. Uh, a lot of people coming in after sort of three o'clock-ish, which means unfortunately today, yet again, this hasn't got done. Uh, for the record, I love the people coming into the shop. It's fantastic. I love talking about fish with people. Uh, it's one of my highlights of what we're doing. So I'm not complaining that people have come in, it just means another day delayed on this but that's okay we'll get that done tomorrow I promise and I've said it for a few days now but we'll get it done get that finished and this is the aftermath of packing frantically water everywhere everything blue everywhere lids still off I've managed to pull the lids back on this one these ones it's a bit of a frantic rush when it comes to packing up water towards the end of the day Fun and games. Things get left everywhere, thrown everywhere. Bags don't get put away. It's just go, go, go! Thunderbirds are go! Yeah, I'll put the lids back on, and that's pretty much us for the day. But before we go, it'd be rude of me not to remind everybody that tomorrow is new fish day, so all the fish that's sitting in the quarantine setup, I think that blows out when I spin around, so I'll say that again. So the fish that are sitting in the quarantine setup through here, basically all ready for rock and roll. Some not so much, others absolutely, so yeah. Look forward to some more fish being released tomorrow. And you know, still haven't done things like put the royal whiptails in the shop. A lot of people query to us, but hey, it is what it is. Oscars are good to go. Uh, black neons are good to go. Should be some cardinals left, silver mollies are staying behind. Sturby quarries are good to go. The two Julies left will probably end up being put out the back here. Battis, rocking and rolling. Plenty of options. Blue Emperor Tetras, Kochus, uh, there'll be some Red Phantoms. Silver Dollar's still available. I'll put them in the shop now. I've got some spare room. Neons. This dude's still hating life. Absolutely hating life. All the rest of them are sweet. He's just hating life. So we'll see how we go.